What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play of CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on another top prospect for the 2013 NHL entry draft, Frederick Gauthier from the uh, Ramuski Oceanic of the Quebec Major Junior League. Uh, he's got 20 points for 20 games, so you know his first year in the queue, so really lighting it up and doing a fantastic job, uh, showing you know why he's going to be such a high-end prospect. Uh, why well, he is such a high-end prospect, excuse me. And uh, one thing I like about him is his size. He's listed anywhere between 6'3 and 6'5, so let's call him 6'4, um, but still only about 192 pounds, so, you know, going to bulk up. I think it's easy to make the Vinny Le Cavalier comparison, being a big, strong center coming out of the queue that can put up um, outstanding numbers, and I think that, you know, that's what he is. But, you know, put, you know, think about it, Vinny Le Cavalier is a Stanley Cup champion, a Rocket Rashad winner, and a guy who's been, you know, one of the elite players in the game for a while. And I, you know, I think it's unfair to make that comparison right away, but uh, it's definitely there. Eric Stahl is another one. They've been uh, making, you know, big, big, strong centers that can score goals uh, in bunches. And I think you look at, you know, the way he plays and all that. That's, you know, kind of what he is. Um, I think he's projected to go in the top 15. I think he can slide up a little bit because you look at the importance of having big, skilled centers on your roster. You look at the past Stanley Cup champions, Stanley Cup champions over the last decade. You look at. You know, uh, this year, Anze Kopitar, uh, the Bruins really didn't have, Ber Bergeron's like 6'2", but he's really not that prototypical big center. Um, you know, Chicago had, you know, Taves is a good-sized guy, Brower and, and Bowman behind him. Um, you know, and you look at Pittsburgh with Malkin, you know, Anaheim with Ryan Getzloff, Carolina, Stahl, and then back to Neil Cavalier in, in Tampa Bay. And so you can see, you know, the importance of having a big skilled center in, in your top two, and that's, that's something to look at. And I think definitely that, that'll help his draft status because, you know, like I said, having a guy like that that can score and bring you size in the, in the top six is huge. And, uh, you know, he still won't be 18 until April, so he's got some growing to do. He's going to continue to fill out his frame, put on a few pounds of muscle, and, uh, you know, become more of a, I want to say more of a power forward, you know, in terms of more of a straight ahead game. And I think that, that's healthier for him. And, uh, you know, a way to put more points on the board without, you know, having to go east west too much. But I think playing in the queue, it's a more wide open free will and league. Uh, he'll learn a few things. It'll definitely help him so he can play, you know, the free will and game and then play the north south game. And I think that's ideal for, because, you know, depending upon what kind of a game you're going into on a, on a night in, night out basis, you're going to, you need to make that adjustment. And, you know, like I said, I like his I like his game. I like the way he plays. I think he'll definitely be a top 15 pick, probably even higher. Like I said, it's the importance of having a big and skilled center um, on your team is huge if you want to compete. And, uh, you know, you get into a seven-game series. Having a guy like that is going to help, help you in a number of different facets. So that should help him. Uh, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Frederick Gauthier of the, of the Rimouski Oceanic and top prospect of the 2013 NHL Entry Draft. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season, lockout, and beyond. Later, guys.